Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about Left WM. Now a month ago or so, I made a video about this claiming that I was going to switch full time. And and I'll be honest with you, I did not switch full time. I tried. I stayed on it for about three days. And I just didn't care for it. So I've been using it off and on now for a month. Uh, every time I think about making this video I just said I'm going to go back and use it for a little while and I always end up going back to my lovely DWM and being happy there for a little while and then coming back and being miserable in left WM and there are a few reasons why I'm miserable and uh, miserable is the wrong way wrong thing to say it left WM is fine it's just not for me and I'm going to talk about the reasons why it's not for me that uh today and before I do I just want to say I know the camera is horrible I'm not sure what the hell is going on I look like a ghost I'm pretty sure I'm not this pale in real life. I mean, I know I shaved the the neck beard off, but it's uh, I'm definitely not this pasty white. Uh, I don't know what the hell is going on. I need I need a new camera desperately. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump in and talk about left WM. So this is what my left WM looks like right now. Now this is my second install of left WM. I had to uninstall it because I corrupted it in some way. I'm not exactly sure. I messed up the configuration file in some way, even replacing the configuration file wouldn't fix it. So it, it just wouldn't load. So I had to reinstall it. And this is actually just the default uh, Dracula rounded theme that you can download off the internet. I've not done very much customization to it at all. And if you know me, you know that that's very unusual because when I get into a new window manager, I highly enjoy writing it as long as I can figure out how to do so. And I did figure out how to rice and change and theme left WM. It's just that after I lost my rice before, I didn't really feel like going through and doing it again. So the way left WM does things is that it's based around a set of themes. So if, if I actually go ahead and quit out of this, we can go through and go up a level. This is the themes folder. And right now I just have this one theme. But there are other themes that you can download. And basically what you do is that each of these themes have a couple scripts and one of them is the upscript. Now this right here is my first big problem with left WM. Anything that you want to auto start has to be in that upscript. So if you want to have something like uh, X clip or clip menu D or XXHKD, whatever, if you want to have any of those things auto start, you have to have them in your up uh, your upscript. The problem comes in is that every single theme you have has its own upscript. They're completely separate. So you'd have to go through and, and edit every single upscript in order to get your programs up and running, you know, in an auto start way. You, there's no separate auto start file, at least as far as I could find. And that's a huge thing because I don't... It, if your idea is to have a window manager that's based around themes, you don't want to have to go through and edit each theme to do the regular computing stuff like having an auto start file or doing the key bindings like I mean the key bindings are separate from this so wh why isn't there a separate auto start file I can't understand the reasoning behind that but more with this up file so if I vim into the up file thing again if you see if you edit this thing because everything here is, is in an if then statement or some kind of if statement because of that if you edit things in the wrong way if you edit thing if you put something in here that is in the wrong order or if you you know make any kind of mistakes left wm just completely fails to work i can't get over the fact that if you mess this up script that it left wm just becomes unusable and it also i can't get over the fact that there's not an easier way just because if, if I go through and CD and show you my i3 auto start script, or actually I can just do cd.dwm uh, auto start and then vim out into my auto start thing for my DWM. This is what my auto start file for DW, DWM looks like. There's no if then statements, not really. It's just a list of things that it's going to start at the beginning. This is what an auto start file really should look like. And there's no problems with the way left WM really does it. It's just that it, it complicates things 
kind of unnecessarily because some of the stuff in there is duplicate. It's every theme that they have right now calls PyCon. Every single one of them. Uh, every single one of them calls uh, Dunst. Okay, so those things are redundant in every single upscript. Why not have a separate auto start file where those things are just living and then call the specific theme needed things in an upscript? That would make a ton more sense to me. And it would allow you to go through and edit that auto start file so that you don't have to, you know, mess around with those upscripts and potentially make a mistake. So that was my first problem. When I first installed LeftWM, I actually couldn't get the upscript to run at startup. I had to actually go through and go go into um, this file here and create a dot desktop uh, entry for that upscript in order to get it to work. Now, the second time that I've installed LeftWM, it actually went through and did it fine. I don't know what I did wrong the first time. I think I messed around with that LeftWM-theme thing that they have. It's some kind of auto-theming thing. I really don't understand it. So the second time it's done fine. The up, so the upscript was one of the, my, was my, probably my biggest problem with LeftWM is just because the auto start, uh, script or auto start file that I always have is something that's really important to the way I do my computing because I have certain things that always have to start. Like I, I just showed you the script that I have for DWM. I always have clip menu. I always have MPD. Uh, you know, I always have Dunst. I always have SXHKD because a lot of my key bindings and stuff are in SXHKD. And I like having uh, that one SXHKD file, which I can tr take with me to whatever window manager I'm in. And I can't do that here because Every time I tried to add SXHKD to the up script, things went wrong. You know, either the script went run or left WM went star or, you know, something was always going wrong. And now some of that is going to be my inability to understand what was going on in the up script because you have to have things in a certain order and it, it you know, it's just overly complicated. So I'm 100% willing to admit that most of my problems with the up thing is one laziness and that I don't want to have to go through and edit every single upscript of everything, every single theme that I use in order to start the programs that I want to have started. And second, my inability to actually understand the, the necessary order of things in that script. I'm like, I'm not sure why things have to go in that order. Like, for example, polybar has to, for whatever reason, be at the end of that script. Always, right? You can't start that at the beginning. Now, I understand that the reason why is because polybar is a something that's consistently running in the background, right? So, um, I, I really can't show you this, but if you if you notice that 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 file that I was on before, every single entry had an and after it. Polybar can't really have that and at at the end, so it's, I I might be completely wrong with it. I don't know. I don't even know. I just know that the polybar thing has to be at the end. Uh, so the up thing was in the auto start problems were was my first big problem the second one is multi-monitor support so i have two monitors i have two 27 inch monitors in front of me and i desperately need a third one but i don't have room for it so i suspect that's one of the reasons why i have i have a, a, a burning need to have more than nine workspaces and i'm not even sure if left wm can handle more than nine workspaces i didn't try i was trying to uh, get into not using so many workspaces when, when I was in this one, but you know, whatever. My biggest problem is that because I use so many workspaces and I switch between the monitors so often, because like right now I have the terminals on, you know, screen one and I have OBS and Audacity on a, another workspace. And if I switch, you know, between them, this is six and I think this was four, no, three, uh, you know, I switch between them and LeftWM is very much like Qtile in that the nine workspaces are shared between them. And if you switch between six and four, they actually switch between monitors. And that's fine. I got used to that in Qtile. I could get used to it in LeftWM. It's not a big deal. It's something that you just have to get used to. It's not like it's not a big deal. My biggest problem is that there doesn't seem to be a way to move applications from one tag or workspace or whatever they call them. I think they call them tags in LeftWM. Uh, there's no way to move them from one tag uh, that's on one monitor to the tag on the other monitor 
without actually just moving them to a different tag. So right right now I have a workspace four and workspace six up. I couldn't move work the things that are on workspace six to workspace four without them switching. I couldn't move. Okay, so this is really this is very complicated. What I want to do, I, what I want to do, is keep both six and four on the same monitors and move the applications between them. Now, what I could do is just do mod shift four, and that would move the application to that workspace. But in every other window manager, there's a way to move things between workspaces. So if I wanted just to move Audacity back over to workspace six, I could just do in say like DWM or something, I could just do super shift and then either the arrow keys or the vim keys. And you can't do that in left WM. You just have to go super shift six and that takes it back to where you know it was before. But that's kind of annoying because I just would, would much rather just use the key bindings I'm used to. And normally what you'd do is say, you know, just go through it in, in the command or, or in the uh, config file, which is this here, just create a key binding for that. The problem is that the callouts to to move to an application from one monitor to the other don't exist, as far as I can tell. Now, I've been through their, their documentation. There doesn't seem to be anything there that moves from one monitor to the other. There also doesn't seem to be a way to move focus between one monitor and the other. So... That's the, uh, the moving thing is there's a workaround, right? So you, I could go through and just move them to whatever tag is active on that monitor. So right now, workspace three and workspace six are active. If I wanted to move things around, I could just move them around using mod shift works three and six. You know, that would work. But moving focus is actually much different because I want, if I don't want to use my mouse to actually move focus, uh, and I just want to move focus from, three to six, but I want to keep the monitors exactly the same. There doesn't appear to be a way to do that. Uh, now there's a key binding mod W, which will allow you to change to the focus to the last workspace you were on. And that kind of works. It's kind of a hacky way of doing it, but it's not really because if your last workspace was also on the same monitor, that's the one you changed to, not the monitor that's over here. I just want to change focus. I don't want to go through and change uh, the where the monitor, the layout of the apps on the monitors right now. I just want to change focus from monitor one to monitor two, and there doesn't seem to be a way of doing that. Now, in every other window manager, there is. Xmonad has it. Qtile has it. I3 has it. DWM has it. It's a, a basic functionality that you need if you're going to support multiple monitors. So now I'm going to just put this out there. Left WM is a new Kylan window manager. Hasn't been around for all that long, I don't think. Yeah, so it's only a couple years old. It's, it hasn't been around for very long. A and that's a thing. You know, it's not a, a huge deal. Not everyone has multiple monitors. They're, maybe the developers don't have multi multiple monitors themselves. So this is not necessary. So maybe, like I said, maybe the developers don't have multiple monitors. Maybe it's just something that hasn't been a focus for them. And that's not a big deal. There's a ton of window managers out there that don't even have any multiple monitor support at all. Like Franken WM doesn't support multiple monitors at all. You just have one gigantic thing that's spread across both your monitors. And that's how it works. It's just completely unusable. And that's just the way it is because it's a, it's a small project. And that's what left WM is the fact that it supports it even as much as it does is really good it's not right and it's not you know the way you should do it but the fact that it's as good as it is is respectable so those are my two biggest gripes with left WM it reminds me a lot of Qtile in terms of the way things are laid out and the way things move around and I got used to Qtile using it for quite a while, about a year ago. So I was, you know, I enjoy Qtile and I could find myself enjoying left WM at times. But the the inability to focus between monitors is a huge deal because I switch between monitors all the time. And I don't want to grab my mouse and swish it all over to the other monitor in order to change the focus. Now, I could just go through and switch the, you know, the workspaces so that the workspace of the other monitor is not on the main monitor. That's what I ended up doing, and that's not that's not really that 
removes the greatness of having two monitors, <laughs> you know, because that means I'm always focused on this monitor. I might as well just only have one monitor. So that's the, the focusing was really, truly the biggest problem I had with left WM and the focusing was really the biggest problem I had. And it was the biggest reason why I couldn't stay in left WM full time when I said I was going to a month ago. The upscript thing and auto start, you know, the way it does auto start was kind of a minor thing because really that was just laziness. I didn't want to go through. I wanted the ability to change themes, right? And the ability to create my own themes. And what really what that would mean is going through and editing each of those up scripts in order to properly work. And the amount of times I went through and made a you know an error in one of those and corrupted the theme, uh, it has to number more than five. And that's not okay. That's just not a great thing. I wish if I'm going to create a theme, you know, I don't want to have to go through and, you know, and making mistakes is, is part of the process, but it just seemed too hard, especially for when I just wanted to go through and, you know, make sure that every single theme would automatically start, you know, uh, clip menu or, and start, uh, you know, my bookmark script. You know, those are the things that I want, just want start, you know, want to start at the beginning or at the, at the at startup. And there is a way to do that, but it's overly complicated. So those are my thoughts on left WM. Uh, I'm going to uninstall it now. I'm not going to, uh, there's no reason for me to keep it installed. I'm never going to use it again. Uh, you know, maybe I'll check it out in like a year and a half and, or two years or something like that and see if it's, you know, made any progress, but my thoughts on it were, are really that it's if you just have one monitor and you're not going to be switching themes all the time, left WM is great. I mean, it's fast, it's fluid, you know, it's highly customizable for the most part. Um, I mean, obviously there are exceptions, but it's just really good. But it's those pain points or those two things that I talked about that would just not make it for me. So when, so back at the beginning of the video, I said I was miserable in left WM. And, and I said that that wasn't really the right word. And mostly what it is, is left WM is just not for me. And that's a shame because it's, you know, it's kind of good. Uh, it, it, it is, it's kind of good. It's just like I said, there's just two things for me and I can't use it. So anyways, thanks for watching. You can follow us on Twitter at the LinuxCast. You can follow on Facebook at, at the LinuxCast. You can also support us on Patreon at patreon.com slash LinuxCast. And with that in mind, I'd like to take a moment to thank our current patrons, Devon, Marcus, Maitland, Donnie, brand new patron. Thank you for support. Merrick, Camp, Mitchell. Thanks everybody for your support. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.